Hello, my name is Miss Sahia, and I wanted to talk to you today about all of the things that are going on right now. You may have noticed or heard your family talk about what's happening in the news. Um, beyond just the COVID virus, which is spreading, we also are combating a different kind of disease. This is not the disease that you catch from germs from person to person, but it's something that happens with the way that people think. And some people have the belief that people with black or brown skin should not have the same rights or privileges as people with white skin. This is called racism and racism has happened in the United States for over 400 years. That's a very long time. And by now you would think that something so terrible would be gone, but it's not that easy. Racism is everywhere and it is our job to stop it. One way to stop racism is to call it out when you see it. That means if you see someone being treated differently because of the color of their skin, you have the voice, you make the choice to say, this is wrong. If you see someone being treated differently because of the color of their skin, you have a choice. You can decide to say something or walk away, but your choice can impact the lives of a lot of people. So right now what's happening is a lot of people are making the choice to say that's wrong. Racism is wrong. And they are talking specifically about racism towards black people. Black people typically have skin color similar to mine. Black people have been in the United States for a very long time. Black people have been fighting against slavery or fighting against racism for a very long time. As long as those 400 years, they have been fighting for things to be better. You may have heard of very important people like Rosa Parks, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, so many more. They all fought to end the injustices that kept black and brown people from having the same rights and privileges as white people. Well, their fight isn't over and it is up to us for things to change. People make a change by standing up for what's right. They protest, they stop shopping at places that don't treat people fairly, they use their voice. And so what I'm asking from you, even as little as three years old, you have a voice. You know what's right and you know what's wrong and you can use your voice to speak up for a change. I want you to remember how important your voice is from the time you can speak until the very end. Your voice matters. And right now, lots of black people really need your voice. You can do it by writing letters to show your support. You could do it by speaking up when you see something that is very wrong. You can ask questions to your families and your friends about how you can do more to help. There's so many ways to help. Today, I want to read you a book that's very important. This book helps us understand some of the differences about race, and it's called Let's Talk About Race. There are lots of different races, and black people are one type of race. This book was written by Julius Lester and illustrated by Karen Barber. And the illustrations are just beautiful. And we are going to read this book today to help us learn a little bit more about race and why it's so important to be able to talk about the things that are happening today. I am a story. So are you. So is everyone. My story begins the same way yours does. I was born on blank. Take me for example. I was born on January 27, 1939 in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm kind of old, huh? 
How does your story begin? Many people and many events are part of my story and yours too. The names of our parents and where they were born, whether or not we have brothers or sisters. I had a brother who was nine years older than me, but now he's dead. What kind of work our parents do or did? My father was a minister. My wife, my mother was a housewife. My story and yours may have many elements, such as favorite food, mine is fish, hobbies, I like to do crossword puzzles, favorite color, red or maybe green, but I like orange and purple too. Oh, I think my favorite color is all of them. Nationality, I'm from the United States. Favorite time of day, nighttime. Oh, there's something else that's part of my story. It's part of yours too. That is what race we are. I'm black. I'm black. What race are you? So this is a great time to figure out what race you are. If you're not sure, ask a family member. Just as I am a story and you are a story and countries tell stories about themselves, race is a story too. Whether you're black, Asian, Hispanic, or Latino, or white, each race is, has a story about itself. And that race is almost, and that story is almost always the same. My race is better than your race. Well, some stories are true, some are not. The stories that say, my race is better than your race, is a story that is not true. Why would someone say someone's race is better than the other? Well, maybe because they might feel bad about themselves. Maybe they're afraid because they, but there are other ways all of us, even me, even you think that we're better than other people. I believe I'm better than you because I live in blank. I'm better than you because I go to blank school. I'm better than you because I'm a girl. I'm better than you because I'm a boy. I'm better than you because my dad makes more money than your dad. I'm better than you because I'm black and you're white. I'm better than you because I'm white and you're black. Well, none of these stories are true. I want to tell you a story, but I need your help. Here's what I want you to do. Take your fingers and press them gently at the skin beneath your eyes. Be careful, don't poke yourself in the eye. Okay, now press gently until you feel that hard bone on the surface, uh, beneath the surface. Now, if your mom or dad, brother, sister, friend, grandma, grandpa are nearby, ask them if you can touch them. And if they say okay, Take your fingers and press them gently on the same place. Now, put your hands somewhere else on your body, your elbow, your forehead, your chin, anywhere until you feel that hard bone. Beneath everyone's skin are bones. So if I was to go outside without my skin on and without the hair on my head, this is what I might look like. Oh. outside without my skin and the hair on my head, I would look just like you and you would look just like me. But suppose, just suppose one day, and I mean everyone in the whole wide world, we decided to take off our clothes and all our skin and all our hair, then we would do what we normally do every day. Go to school, go to work, play and shop. Everything would be normal except we would all look the same and we couldn't tell who was a man or a woman and we couldn't tell who was black white or latino which story should we believe the one that says my race is better than your race or the one where we just discovered for ourselves beneath our skin i look like you and you look like me and she looks like her and him and he looks like him and her and we look like them and they look like us. When I look at you, what story do I see? 
do I see only the color of your skin, the shape of your eye, the texture of your hair? Do I look at you and think I know your story when I don't even know your name? Or do I look and wonder, what's your name? Where were you born? Where were you born? Where do you live? What don't you like? What do you like? Hmm, what if we like the same things? Huh. And all of the, these friends are saying, what do you like? What don't you like? Where do you live? Where were you born? What do you like? Your race is not all that you are. My race is not all that I am. Yes, I am black and I am also a woman and I am of medium height and I have a deep voice and I have a high voice and I love to laugh. Do you? And I live in a big house. Not really, I don't live in a big house. He does, the storyteller. I like pancakes and macaroni and cheese and, and, and I am so, so many things besides my race. And to know my story, you have to put together everything that I am. Like, I bet you didn't know I have asthma. Beneath the skin, we all look alike, you and me. If I take off my skin, will you take off yours? So friends, race is only one part of who we are. And it's sometimes the biggest thing people talk about because it's the biggest thing they can see. When you look at someone, of course you see their clothes and their hair and their makeup or their earrings, but you can also see their skin because it's so big, it's all over our bodies. But that's only one part of a very big story. And so we have to get to a place where we stop making judgments about our skin and start to get to know the whole story. So friends, again, I wanna remind you to use your voice. Whenever you see someone start to make a judgment about one part of someone's story, speak up. Whenever you see someone start to tell people, you can't do that just because of one part of their story, I want you to speak up. The only way for things to get better and to change is if we do this together. So my friends, will you help me?